was there is there a part of the book that you almost didn't believe you're like i actually don't think that happened or you had to read re research <laughs> or just something that completely surprised and shocked you yeah i would say uh the first time he met his idol michael yeah. jordan lebron was 15 years old um he wasn't old enough to drive and um he it was summertime and he got invited to go to the gym, the private gym where Michael Jordan trained and worked out. Keep in mind, Michael Jordan was in retirement at this point. He was yeah. no longer playing basketball. However, this particular summer, Michael had decided to come out of retirement and re-enter the professional leagues. But no one knew that yet. I mean, in other words, no one knew he was going to do that. And that summer, Le LeBron was invited to go to Michael's private gym and work out. And Michael wasn't there, but, but a bunch of professional basketball players were there working out in the offseason. And they invited LeBron to come onto the court and play with them. He's mm. 15. Yeah. He's 15 years old. And that chapter is called A Different Floor. And I called it that because when LeBron stepped onto the floor – with these professional basketball players, and he's only 15, the court looked a lot smaller. It wasn't smaller. It was the same dimension as mm. his high school gym, but the men were so much bigger and their arms were so much longer that the passing lanes and the driving lanes to the hoop just looked like they weren't there. And he played with those guys that day, and he also learned that day that he couldn't stop them on defense. Yeah. He couldn't guard them because they were too fast and too quick and too strong. But those players discovered that LeBron was good enough that he could score on them. Yeah. And LeBron was scoring on them at 15. And so that day after it was over, all those guys left. They, they left and went wherever they went. LeBron helped clean the gym. And then he was leaving with the guy who was locking up. And when they stepped outside, Jordan pulled up in a red sports car. Wow. And got out. And that was the first time that, that LeBron had ever seen Michael in person. And Michael knew who he was and invited him back inside the gym. And he spent about 20 minutes alone. And Michael didn't really give him any advice, but he gave him his cell phone number. And LeBron left the gym that day with Michael's cell phone number in his pocket. And then he drove all the way back home in Ohio and the next day was the first day of his junior year of high school. And he went to school with Michael's number in his pocket. And, mm -hmm. and the reason I love this story so much is because a few months later, a writer from Sports Illustrated is going to show up at LeBron's high school and talk, try to talk him into cooperating with him to write a story about him. And this writer named Grant Wall who went on to be a great soccer writer, football mm. writer, ends up driving LeBron that night all the way from Akron to Cleveland to watch Michael play in a game against Cleveland. And when they get there, after the game, Michael invites LeBron into the tunnel to talk with him. And by this time, they're actually on very friendly terms. LeBron's, Michael's talking to LeBron like his younger brother. And so mm. these these kinds of insights to me were amazing because yeah. you're seeing Michael Jordan is widely considered one of the greatest athletes in history mm. and you're seeing him making a connection with a high school kid who's 15 years old. And this kid is eventually going to become so good in his own right that he's going to be considered. It's just the two of them yeah. in the conversation for the greatest of all time.